Welcome back to another video. My name is Michelle and if you're new here, thank you so much for joining me. I hope you enjoyed this video and if you subscribe, make sure to say hi in the comments. I love meeting everybody and um, if you are a subscriber, thank you so much and I hope you enjoy this video. So today I have a little something different. Um, First of all, I have little baby Bella. Well, she's not a baby. She actually turned one last month in August, but she's very camera shy. She's very shy. It, it took her forever to like just come to me, you know, once I had gotten her. She's just really to herself. But I like to try to have her chill with me while I record sometimes. But anyway, so again, this is little Bella and um, so, I just have, I wanted just to be relaxed, you know, I think when people come on to, when I, when I, con oops, <laughs> consume YouTube, I like to learn, of course, yes, but that's usually real quick, but there's, the most times is when I really, really just like to be able to chill out and just get out of my own space, get out of my own life, <laughs> my own world, and I view other people's lives and you know their their things they're doing and the decorations and feels like I'm having coffee with them speaking of coffee I sure hope that you fixed you yourself a coffee whenever I was showing mine that's why I show hopefully it'll inspire you to get your own and get comfy and cozy and let's get started with this video okay the first thing I have is an update I have a little cheat sheet but I want to just give an update because I did change the name of my YouTube channel and it was called Life is a Treasure because I have a podcast called Life is a Treasure and I share a lot of life lessons on there, trials, testimonies. I have many guests on my show who have incredible stories of transformation and my whole goal is to show that there are treasures after tears because I'm also the founder of Tears to Treasures, which is closed that chapter of my life. But I, I founded Tears to Treasures and, um, you know, worked under that name for many years. And that chapter closed and I expanded it with Life as a Treasure and I started the podcast. And that's been over a year and I kind of took a break to focus on the YouTube, this YouTube channel. So I'm very new. So again, every single subscriber is so important and thank you. Thank you so much for being here. I mean, there's so many out there and I just am honored for the 300 of you that have subscribed. So again, it means the world to me. 
And I really hope that through my videos, I can inspire you. And like I said, just give you an escape. Uh, I live in the country. I'm able to film all type of birds as I migrate through. We're going to be starting to get monarchs. I think I saw one today. I wanted to give you an update on my country cottage garden. And I have a lot of milkweed ready for the monarchs to come and lay her eggs on them. Um, let's see. The hummingbirds are so active. So I'm going to film that for you today. I feel her yawning. I'm going to give you an update on the garden because we've had a lot of rain, thankfully. And things are just like shot up, especially the milkweed. But so have, I think the birds like um, spread some sunflowers and seeds and they're tall and they're getting ready to bloom. So I'm going to soon have sunflowers, I think. So I'll show you that. Um, so yeah, I'm gonna give you a tour of the garden and oh yeah, the little critters are everywhere Y'all I have a funny story. You know how I've showed the rabbits in my yard Well, this little girl is literally tinier than she only like two pounds than the rabbits in our country yard and She watches her big brother Zeke run after them all the time and he plays with them He doesn't catch them. He just chases them and they have their hole to go to you know, and he knows and he stops way before so She watched them. Well, she took off the other morning 7 30 in the morning I'm like in my robe and slippers and she took off Zeke didn't he's just watching her and um, She was gone and she could have went in the hole. So I was like, oh my gosh, so She's kind of on house arrest now. She had a new bath and she can't go chase rabbits. Huh? Watch. Bella. Bella. Where's the rabbit? Where's the rabbit? Where's the rabbit? Oh, good. Maybe she's over it. <laughs> anyway, so um, I'm going to show you some critters. We've had a lot of new little critters running around and eating the grass that's growing. So I'll get some clips of that for you. And also, I have some sales, of course. I, my work, my job is uh, selling Poshmark. And so I have some sales that came in that I need to pack. So I thought, I will just put all this in one video and so do like a little pack with me. I'll talk to you uh, as I go and share with you like what's sold and show you some fun items. One's a bundle. It's outfit so cute. Okay. So there, we're going to do that. And oh, let's see. I think that's pretty much, oh, a very important message. I just got approved to host a show on Whatnot, which is an app um, that is like auction style shows. So what I'm gonna be doing, as you know, if you watch my videos, I've been cleaning out items from like yeah, last year. I've been donating them all. Well now, as I'm going through, like I'm going through sweaters right now and I was gonna donate, I'm like gonna just have this fun, show on whatnot next Wednesday at 2 30 is when I have it recorded central standard time and um I have a schedule I mean to go live and have an auction with the clothes so y'all have some really good items starting at like three and five dollars and some at one dollar each so if you're on whatnot hook up with me on there like let's it is so fun y'all join me on there it's a super fun platform you can just join and like go to the different auctions and purchase items like it is so is going to be blowing up so i'm going to be on whatnot i will link my my description stuff i will link my information in the description box so you can find me on whatnot and join my show next week huh i'm gonna have bella there she's gonna be my little co-worker okay um, I just want to share something really special and near and dear to my heart and I thought we'd do a little story time with coffee and chit chat. So, um, I'm from Louisiana. I know I've said that before. I say y'all and all that. So we're also called Cajuns and my dad is the oldest of seven and his brother was my godfather, my pa I called him and his name was Pat. Duran. So my name, I never told you. So Life is a Treasure is my podcast. If you don't notice, I'm sure you do have by now. I have Tourette syndrome and I have tics, which is why I touch my nose all the time. I have a podcast about that if you want to learn more about Tourette. And also I um, have major ADHD. So I'm just like, I know. I'm sorry. I'm trying to keep my thoughts focused. Um, 
So there is my name change. Um, I just felt like it was just too long and it was like confusing, I think really with my podcast. So rather than have it try to be combined together, just wasn't working. So um, I'm actually, I just changed it and I'm going to start building, you know, just going with Michelle Marie and I no longer have, so this is a big update, like I no longer have my podcast. I mean my, I'm sorry, I do have my podcast. On every platform you can listen to podcasts, I'm, it's there and your life is a treasure with Michelle Durand. So, um, and it's free, you can subscribe every time I upload a podcast, you will get it in your library. And um, you can go back and listen to all of them. I have almost a hundred in there right now, episodes. I'm gonna continue. So, but I just had to make this change. These I'm cleaning up, <laughs> new season here, Ch change is beautiful, right? And so, uh, not only changing my whole Poshmark model and closet, I'm also changing and kind of like rebranding. And I closed that chapter of my life with Tears of Treasures, so therefore my website is no longer there. I deleted the website. Um, it was there for no purpose, and so I deleted it. And then the next thing is I also deleted my life as a treasure.com because it was whole it was housing my podcast, but it was costing me money that I don't make income from that. So I just had to I always look at my finances and budget and it was like this is something that is not making money and I'm not gonna pay any more money for it for it. So I deleted all of that. And I'm starting fresh, and um, that being on YouTube, I changed my name to Michelle Marie, which is my name, <laughs> Michelle Marie Duran, which is my g at gmail.com is my email address. So, and if you can't tell, I'm very, very talky, talkative, chatty. Bella's used to it. So, with all of that being said, I want to share something very dear, near and dear to my heart. And my parent, he passed away on my dad's birthday a few years ago, and so. He would send me his poems, poem, poems, I know we all say it different, I say poems, um, that he had written and I have them in my safe, but I went ahead and I re I found these on the internet, so they're public on, uh, let's see, it's Cajun, thecajun.com. I thought it would be a good time for me to read to you one of the poems as we enter fall, September, um, pumpkin spice season. Speaking of that, let me get a sip. So I thought I would read to you one of the poems that he wrote. Um, it says, while walking in the park, think of all the people made happy by this landmark. While picking flowers, remember someone else is certainly worth the bother. While swinging, think of the relaxation this simple motion is bringing. When seeing a happy smile, remember this expression is certainly worthwhile. While enjoying a good laugh, think of all the good times and be thankful while they last. When hugging someone, remember how good it felt after it was done. When enjoying a good movie, think of all the emotions brought forth and how they were so soothing. While on a beach, remember life, for the most part, is a peach. While listening to the wind, think of its whispers and where your thoughts had been. When looking at Indian summer leaves, remember how these Thanksgiving colors please. While hearing rain fall, think of all the flowers that this will make tall. When feeling all alone, Remember to keep busy to try to avoid the zone. When hearing a lonesome train whistle blow, think of all your fond memories of so long ago. While gazing at the stars at night, remember the heavens, for God has made it bright. When going to sleep at night, think of someone that you would like to hold tight. While saying all your prayers, remember God only sends us what he thinks we will bear. I hope you've enjoyed those words from my godfather, my partner, and my uncle, Pat Duran, who left this earth and went to heaven on December 28th of 2013. He was a very special part of my life. Um, not only he was my parent, but 
every single day on my birthday till the year that he passed away um he called me and said happy birthday michelle this is para and he would give me necklaces and little pendants and um he was a very special place in my heart always so i really hope that maybe it touched your heart in some way um and that's always what i do hope to bring you is some inspiration and hope and uh let's go ahead and i will bring you into my office and we'll start packing the items that sold on Poshmark you can see what sold. to my home office this is my Poshmark room where I pack my items that have sold I process and pack in here and I list in my other room so we're in here and what we're gonna do now I'll share with you the few items that sold the first item that sold was this skirt right here which is a Canadian brand and this is a skirt like I said so they have the shorts underneath which are very very popular if you are a new reseller if you come across skorts like any skort that's in great condition pick it up so fast so fast because they really do sell and they sell for great profit but so anyway these did sell and they sell for 28 dollars, and they're going to be shipped off to florida so i'm going to go ahead and pack it up so i use this I know some of you like to see this por portion, which I don't know if you can with the video. Some of you like to see this portion, and basically I'm just wrapping it in some packing paper. Very, very minimalist. I literally just wrap it in the paper. Just to have a presentation, it is not necessary. y'all I'm excited about selling but also very nervous about what not that's a funny name okay anyway I'm gonna now put a happy mail sticker on the front <laughs> they're so cute oh I just ordered some new poly mailer bags and uh stickers and they're black and white and I'm using like different ribbon so fun all right so for this one the way I'm gonna pack it is I use these USPS envelopes that you get free at the post office or at USPS.com and they're called mailing envelope and I use these all the time and I will just slip it in here put the label on it and it will be on it I bring it to the post office and I go to the kiosk I scan it in with the prepaid label code and it starts tracking I get the receipt and I know that it's tracking once the person received the buyer receives it she has like three days to examine and then accept and then you get your funds and you can do with you what with it what you want cash it out or buy more you know clothes on or not just clothes they have pretty much everything now on Poshmark so I am not sponsored by Poshmark I love Poshmark it is the easiest for me I've tried eBay I do like Macari I'm only getting started and now with this whatnot it's a whole different ball game so I'm gonna be really taking some time to learn what to do so everyone's new there with the women clothing so we all learn together so that's what I'm gonna be doing with this one so let's move along to the next item that sold and that would be these AG these are a really good bolo brand be on the lookout for this brand right here and it's actually Adriano Adriano Goldschmidt AGED denim it might have different labels for it depends on how old they are but these have whiskering they have patchwork on them and they have a raw hem and they are the ex-boyfriend slim slouchy so 
those sell for $35 and they're going to Michigan. So again, I'm going to just fold them up. Jeans are easy to ship. I love selling jeans. I have a lot, lot, lot of jeans that I'm getting ready uh, to list. So if you're in the market for jeans, you can check it out. I carry all sizes, so I love selling jeans. So I don't know. Oh, I have it. I'm licking my finger. I even ordered this stuff, but now I have to get in the habit of like using it, right? So yeah, I'm very happy that these jeans sold. I'm gonna get to send them on their way to Michigan <laughs> and list some new jeans. All right, so I hope you enjoyed my little segment with Bella. Oh, she's so precious. She's so tiny, but she's mighty, you know? She's like a little dynamite. She has no fear, and maybe that is because she grew up with Zeke, and so she literally has no fear of anything. She would chase a big old dog. That's how she is. But you know, Yorkies were ra born, or raised to chase and hunt, hunt, because they, they were small. I don't know, I love Yorkies. Okay, so. Like I said, and I will put a Happy Mail sticker as well on this one, and I'll show you how cute. I just love doing that. You know what I will do as well? Um, I'll do it right now. I have to, I guess I said the Dollar Tree, and I like to just take it. I like natural, raw, you know, textures and stuff, and I think it goes so well with the sticker Happy Mail. And then I will just wrap it around. Just gives it a special little touch, and you know, my customers, they do appreciate it. So many will write a comment, a five-star five star rating, and write a comment saying, the packaging was so nice. So, you know, they appreciate it. Whether they let you know or not, I do believe they do. I mean, many people, they're busy to stop and say that, you know, so I appreciate when they do, but it's not necessary. It's just something I like to do. So, I will then slide that into the USPS envelope. And I'll put the label and it will be on its way. Okay, the next thing is so fun. I can't wait to get to this part. So this is a bundle. So first she put these pants in her oops, in her bundle. And these are I they're my favorite. I just I literally when I got these, let me show them to you first. So first of all, they're we the free 30, which is free people. So we the free. And then if you look close, first of all, <laughs> doesn't it just scream pumpkin? Fall, autumn, September. Okay, wait for it. Let me just show you the back. Okay, this is regular jean, regular crushed velvet, denim type, you know, like blue jean style, but, and then you go down and you go down and then you go, oh my goodness, look at this y'all. It's the 70s. I, I tried these on to just see how, you know, I grew up in the 70s and they were so fun. And I, while I had them on, I was like, oh, why don't I just snap photos and list them, you know, with that, with these photos. Uh, that way, because it is hard to share this in a photo, you know. And then they sold. So she bundled, she put this in there. And then, oh my God, this is a girl after my own heart. She lives in Oregon. Um, I do not know her. She just put this bundle together and I sent her an offer and she accepted it. And I think she has great taste, as does everyone, of course. I picked out all this stuff. <laughs> so the bell bottom velvet pants, and then she put this in her bundle. And it's this batik, if you know, I say it all the time, I lived in Indonesia. This is made in Indonesia, Bali batik little tank top. And she put that in there with this, y'all. I was like, oh my God, girl. She's a girl after my own word. Look at this. Okay, and on top of that, then one of my favorite, favorite belts is this Italian leather. But this reminds me of like the Tree of Life. And um, she's a gorgeous belt. Like, I was like, yeah, so I'm gonna wear it in the fall. But, it's, but she put this in a bundle, all three. And we, you know, I sent her an offer of $48 with discounted shipping, of course. And um, 
she accepted. So I'm very, very happy. And she has a great deal. She has a beautiful outfit coming. She's definitely gonna get one of these cords on here. You've got great taste. On a bundle, I will have room. You know, it'll be kind of a bigger package because this is kind of overbearing sometimes on a little bitty package. And I'll take that on there and put the Happy Mail sticker and what a beautiful fall outfit. And I'm not gonna take the time to wrap it. I will wrap it just like I showed you. I will definitely be putting this on there all over it, glamming it up. And then I'm going to um, put it in one of these boxes that you literally just put together instead of their self-adhesive. I get them again at the post office. They are box number 1092. I use a lot of these. Um, especially for bundles and now if it's too thick or bulky I'll go up to the 1097 or 1095 I use all three um, and I'll put it in the bit next step up and I will just close it up put the label on it and again go scan it at the kiosk or have the cashier do it for me either way and they'll be tracking so that will be all done. I will just wrap them offline because I really, really, really want to share with you the garden tour. And I think that's like my favorite part too. So I'm gonna wrap this part up and I'll see you in a minute. Okay guys, so I decided to use my coffee that got cool while I was packing and make iced coffee and I think now would be a great time to take you outside. The squirrel, the squirrel just flew like a flying squirrel from one tree to the other. Y'all, they were so excited out there. So I'm gonna take you out there. I'm gonna get some clips of nature, whatever, whatever comes in my way. I wanna just
subscriber and I hope you have a wonderful west rest of your week and I hope you have a very blessed September and you know just remember that change is beautiful and you are beautiful in whatever season of life you're in you're always beautiful from the inside out so even when we don't feel like it even when we don't feel like getting dressed you're still beautiful and so i just sending you all peace love and joy and hope you would just enjoy the nature and the birds and just let it be soothing to your soul and a little escape from real life talk to you later Sometimes you have to look close and look up, but you will always see the rainbow after the storm.